time our Prime Minister says, the Constitution is my holy book. If the Constitution is his holy book, then of course he must have to disagree with the very man that he hails every day, Mr. Deen Diyal Upadhyay. But does he? He has instructed every ministry in New Delhi to conduct seminars on the thoughts of Deen Diyal Upadhyay. If the Prime Minister could stand up tomorrow and say, I respect Deen Diyal Upadhyay, but I disagree with him on the Constitution, then we would have no problem. But as long as he takes the position that everything the India Lupadia stands for is the gospel truth, then we have a real challenge to the Constitution. What is the biggest danger facing our democracy today is the prospect that they will follow through on these convictions, not only by honoring the individuals they claim to admire, they have put a portrait of Savarkar in Parliament facing that of Gandhi, but that they will actually act on the beliefs of, our, of their own uh, heroes and they will come back to us with a new constitution. So far what is preventing them is that they need three things to change the constitution. They need two-thirds of the Lok Sabha, two-thirds of the Rajya Sabha and half the states. As you know right now they have two-thirds of the Lok Sabha with the NDA alliance. They have more than half the states. They control 20 states and they are in coalition in two more out of 29 states. The only thing they don't have now is a majority in the Rajya Sabha. But because they have so many state governments and the state assemblies elect the Rajya Sabha, you can be sure that within four or five years they will have a majority in the Rajya Sabha as well. So the great danger then is if they have been able to win a repeat of their current strength in the Lok Sabha, then frankly, our democratic constitution as we understand it will not survive because then they will have all the three elements they need to tear up the constitution of India and write a new one. And that will be a new one that will enshrine the principle of a Hindu Rashtra, that will remove equality for the minorities, that will create a Hindu Pakistan. And that is not what Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Maulana Azad, Sardar Patel and the great heroes of our freedom struggle fought for.